Sasha, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm so how are you? Nice to see you. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, this is uh, your first time on the show. We've known each other for a long time. You actually lived in, in our guest house a long time ago. And I learned today that that's where you first, you wrote your first Borat movie. Yes, that's right. Um, actually, I want my deposit back. <laughs> um, the clock in the microwave was broken uh -huh. when I moved in there. And as my lawyers have said, we'd like it back if possible. Yes. But yes, I wrote, I wrote Borat there. Yes, my, all those years ago. My, lo my lawyers want a piece of that Borat movie because you lived in our guest house when you wrote it. So I would like some of that. If you give me back the deposit, you can have some of the movie. OK, I'll, I'll take it. Hey, um, Yes, I was there. I would see you in the mornings. You'd have a walk around the garden, and I was uh, writing Bora. Yes, and you were in a robe a lot of times, and sometimes less than that. Well, yes, I was getting ready for the naked fight scene in Borat. Just yeah, right. getting myself a bit You have to be naked when you write the naked fight scene. All right, so congratulations on the movie. It is getting great reviews. Uh, a lot of people have watched it. It's, it's hilarious and cringe-worthy. And uh, there's a l explain Borat, in, in case someone has not seen the first movie, what, 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 who Borat is and what this movie is. So, Borat is a journalist from a country called Kazakhstan, and it's a, a kind of made-up version of this real country, Kazakhstan. And I go around the country interviewing real people. And this movie is about Borat is instructed by his government to give his daughter as a gift to Mike Pence. <laughs> and that's basically it. That's the movie, yeah. That's the movie. Yep. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's your journey to get there. And uh, you were filming in some dangerous, uh, first of all, so what did you say to, for instance, the two guys that you lived with uh, during the, the COVID um, shutdown, what did they think they were doing with cameras in their house? So they thought that they were going to, you know, have a lockdown with somebody from a foreign country who didn't really understand the virus. Uh, but I spent five days living with them in character, uh, breakfast till going to sleep at night. So, um, yeah, it was a, I got a little bit lost in the character, actually. Yeah, and, and you're still like, you know, I, I, I know the story of you, you know, they're trying to knock on the door and you're trying to get ready for the next day as, as yourself and you, you have to like answer the door as Borat. Um, you, you go to um, this event. I mean, there's, there's so many uh, things in this film that I'm thinking, oh my God, you could be hurt so badly if they find out that you, know, you are duping these people. You go to this event for Mike Pence, you're dressed as Trump. Um, how did you even get in looking like that? Well, um... Basically, I woke up at one in the morning, and here we go. Yes, they transformed me. We had a prosthetics team transform me into Donald Trump. And then I put on a fat suit, a kind of 55-inch fat suit, uh, because that's what the prosthetic team said equated his size perfectly. And then I got into a different disguise. I did Trump's hair differently got past the CPAC security, got past the TSA, and actually the TSA were kind of wanding me, and they basically, it went past my chest and it beeped. And I was terrified, obviously, the moment they touched my body, it's a fat suit. So, you know, I wouldn't have been allowed in. And they said, well, what is that, sir? Why is it beeping? And I go, um, it's a pacemaker. And then the guy from the TSA carried on wanding me, and then down by my belly, it beeped again. And he goes, well, what's that? And I didn't know what to say. And he said, he said, hold on, it's the wire to the pacemaker, yeah? And I go, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> and so he let me in. Wow. And then, then I spent five hours hiding in the men's bathrooms in CPAC, listening to um, conservative men go to the toilet. And I would say, Stephen Miller, if you're watching this, you need more fiber in your diet. <laughs> you know, it shouldn't take that long. OK, well, if he's watching, he got the message. Um, all right, Sasha.
We're going to take a break, and then we're going to talk about the other movie that you're brilliant in. Uh, and I'm just so happy for you. But uh, we'll take a break. We'll be Thank back with Thank you very session. much, Ellen. All right, Thank we'll you. Be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God!